Hey guys, today is January 31st and here is your Bible movement for today. The first scripture is Genesis 38. Now, in Genesis 38, there is a lot of shystiness going on. There is a lot of shadiness going on. I mean, there is so much that there's so many wrong things going on in this chapter. But um, basically, chapter 38 of Genesis, it's um, talking about Judah, who was one of Jacob or Isaac's sons out of the 12. And um, he's basically leaving his family and he, and he meets this woman. Well, they end up, you know, getting married and having kids and they have three kids. Um, the firstborn son, his name is Er, like E-R, Er. The second one, his name is Onan. And the third, his name is um, Shelah. And, um, you know, time goes on and um, his oldest son, Er, becomes of age. So, um, he, so Judah arranges um, Er to marry a woman named Tamar. Um, but in the eyes of God, Er was a very wretched human being, and that is what it says in the Bible, and God ended his life. So, as a, a custom back then, if your first son is married and he dies without any children to leave his name, then the second son has to come in and marry her, and, um his kids will take on the first son's um, legacy, so to speak. So then um, the second son, Onan, goes and marries Tamar. Um, but he was resentful that his child would not be his. It would be his first brother's heir, who God killed. Um, so during sex, he would pull out of her and spill his seed, basically, um, so that she wouldn't get pregnant. So um, this kind of behavior was also wretched to God, so God ended his life. So then Judah um, goes to tell Tamar that um, she will be a widow till his third son, Shelah, um, comes of age and um, Judah was afraid that his only son left would die too. He thought something was wrong with Tamar. So time goes on and uh, Judah's wife dies. So um, him and his friend go to Tima um, to work with sheep shirters and to have some sort of festivities. So Tamar finds out about this, so she gets out of her widow's clothes, which I'm imagining are black and everything, and she goes to this town that they're at, and she puts a veil over her face so she wouldn't be recognized, and usually that means that that woman is a prostitute back in those days. And the whole reasoning for this was because she was resentful um, because... Shayla had come of age and she still had not been married to him yet so she was very resentful because of that um so judah passes her by and he thinks that she's a prostitute so judah propositions her and um for sex and she says okay well what will you give me and he says i'll give you a goat <laughs> i don't know if i would want to go you know, but maybe back in those days, that was a good price for some good sex. So, you know, um, she says, okay, well, you know, give me something to hold on to so um, that I know, you know, you're not going to bamboozle me when you go back to get this goat. And so he gives her his personal seal and the cord that it's on and his staff that he carries. So they agreed and they had sex and she, um, she became pregnant or, um, she conceived a child that day and, um, she went back and she put on her widow clothes and no one knew the difference. Um, so Judah kept his word 
and instead of him going back he sent his friend with the goat to go back to retrieve his cord um, and his seal on it and his staff so his friend goes back and he looks and looks and he cannot find this prostitute anywhere so he asked you know the temple people and everything and they say we don't have any prostitutes here so he goes back to Judah and he's like look there was no prostitute woman there and uh, they said that no one no prostitute was there so Judah's like well fine you know you know I kept my word you know she's just not there um, a, month, a couple months go by about three months go by and someone informs Judah that Tamar had been messing around because evidently she was pregnant so he wanted her brought to him and he wanted her stoned to death for that because that's what they did back in the day because she was supposed to be for his youngest son she knew that this was gonna happen she was smart enough to get those items from Judah and she goes there and she says the man that um, impregnated me these items are his and she holds up the items and it's Judah's seal and cord and his staff well right then and there he knew that he had wronged her he knew that he had messed up you know they never married or anything but you know nothing bad came of that she didn't get stoned or anything like that but she had twins is basically um, everything that goes on in chapter 38 I know that's a lot to go on but our next passage is Psalms 15 and 16 Psalms 15 and 16 it considers the moral qualities of the person who wishes to approach God and um, just you know read those at home and you know whatever you take out of them. The Psalms can mean different things to different people. But our next passage is um, Matthew 21, 33 to 22, 14. And I, I didn't write down too many notes because it was just um, a it's I think like two or three parables that Jesus was talking to people and to the disciples about so you know at home you can read about that um, our scripture for the day is Psalm 16 9 through 11 as this is a good life my heart is glad my soul is full of joy and my body is at rest who could want for more you will not abandon me to experience death and the grave or leave me to rot alone. Instead, you direct me on the path that leads to a beautiful life. As I walk with you, the pleasures are never ending and I know true joy and contentment. So that's your Bible movement for today, January 31st. I hope that you are enjoying this series and I hope that you get something out of these scriptures today and you take time to read that to read them at home and listen to what God and the Holy Spirit is talking to you. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a comment down below if you have any comments or questions. And as always, please um, subscribe to my channel to get daily Bible movement videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.